Hey Zushi, it's I'm Kitty from Zushi and I'm going to show you how to draw Joy from the movie Inside Out. So first up what we do is we, whoop, move my paper, uh, we draw a circle. Then just underneath that circle we draw a little oval like that. Oops. Then just connecting to that oval we draw another circle just like that and then we're just building like a guide for her, her body and head. And then we connect that top circle to the little oval with two lines, slightly angled. And then we draw a little oval out the side for the top part of her arm and then another one here. Then another oval down like that. Then another oval here for her hand. She's got a rest her hand on her hip and then a little tiny little teardrop shape to show her fingers there and there and there and then bring another oval down there and then another oval there for her hand and then another one just out the side for a finger or thumb like that then just coming out of this circle we draw a little teardrop shape, upside down teardrop shape, then another one just over here, and then another one just at the end for her foot, another one just like that for her foot there. Yeah. So then we'll go back and um, just fix up her head. So we're just going to take a line around and up to kind of just make a point at the back of her head and this is kind of where her hair is going to go. And then we'll draw a line across here, probably just a little bit lower than halfway down the face. And then we draw an oval. So that line's going to be our guide for our eyes and nose, etc. So we draw an oval there and then we draw like a circle, more of a circular oval. There. And then we draw like a little triangle shape like that for her nose. Then what I'm going to do too is I'm just going to flatten off that side of the face and then just bring it round and down a little more into the cheek so it's not quite so round anymore like that and then for her smile we just do a line across like that with two little lines at the end showing the corner of her corner of her mouth corners of her mouth and then I'm going to draw another oval and then another oval with a little circle for a highlight. And then another oval. Another oval with a circle for a highlight. And I'm just going to darken up and I'll make that a bit thicker there to almost show like eyelashes. And then for her hairline, we're just going to take a, for a guide, we're just going to draw like a little oval around her face. Like that. And then using that oval as a guide, we're just going to draw like little kind of wave shapes. Because her hair is quite, um, quite cool and jaggy. And then 
some more out this side. And then coming down the top here, just do a couple more kind of wave shape, triangle shapes coming out the side of her head. Like that. And then up and then into another kind of triangle shape there and there to show a bit of texture in her hair on the top of her head. Then we get, get to this point here, we kind of one, two, three, bring those triangles out for triangles like that and then we come down and bring that out a little bit like that and back into join her hair so we've kind of made her hair I'm just gonna bump that out a bit actually and then just add those triangles back in there those waves just to give her hair or her head a little bit more oomph like that and then we'll go back in and draw a dress so we just draw a little half circle there and join those shoulders across and then join her arm down like that and we draw a line kind of almost like an oval line across like that and then from there we bring a line down and curve it out. This is the goes into like the bottom of her dress. Then again on this side, bring the line down and across like that. And then down just past the bottom of this oval. Like that. And then we take a wavy line the bottom to join those two points and that gives us the bottom of the dress and then we're just going to add some kind of flower shapes on it so we do a little circle and then some little kind of overly shapes for petals there and again here we just do some overly shapes like that and then another one here and again some overly shapes and again here and then just putting them quite random so like that and then we just fix up these legs so it comes down into her foot like that and this one as well And with this arm, I'll just make that a little bit thinner there, using those ovals as a guide. Down and then into her hand, like that. And then we just grab our black pens and go back in and ink in the pencil lines.
Then we just go back in and double up the thickness of the main parts of the illustration to make it look even more cartoony. Then we just wait for the ink to dry. Then we just go back in and rub out the pencil lines. So there you have it, Joy from Inside Out, done in a Zushi style. Happy drawing!